Good morning from truth or con consequence. <laughs> <laughs> consequences. Oh my gosh, what a tongue twister that was. We're at the Riverbend Hot Springs. Uh, we went for a morning soak. Um, now I've been idling the bus a little bit, trying to figure out our next move. Um, I'm, I'm, I ran out of socks, so I got my sandals on. Claire needs to do laundry also. Mm -hmm. So at some point today we're going to do laundry. Um, and we need to go get some food, but not too much food because we're going to go for a burger. And hash. Right? right? Yeah. Isn't that, is it a burger? Yeah. Sparkies? Yeah. I don't know, it's yeah. called Sparkies maybe or something. We're going to hatch. She's in love with hatch chilies. And um, she's just hatching with excitement. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I said if you blind, just where it was needed. So uh, we uh, resupplied. However, the uh, hair is getting a little long. She said I looked like a what this morning? Caveman. Yeah. <laughs> so let's stop and get a, a haircut at a local place. In the Nobody's All right. Ah, got a nice haircut thanks to uh, Sugar Mama. <laughs> Feels uh, a lot lighter with a lot less uh, hair on my head. Although I got a bunch of hair all over my hands and neck, so uh, definitely uh, could use the shower again. <laughs> Claire, you got some burrs? Uh. I know I tracked some in here, so like, don't walk barefoot. <laughs> Alright. Just to show you guys how many burrs you can get by walking in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, quite a few on the bottom of my sandal. Good old goat heads. Thanks for the haircut, Ricky. Well, today was uh, laundry day, so I spent the past couple hours doing laundry and uh, editing a, actually a really cool video. So just to let you guys know, I am about six days behind real life, which for me is a really good thing because uh, number one, if you upload in advance, you can you can appeal the demonetization thing. So that's how I make a little bit of money, very little. Um, and then the other great thing about it is that I can be uh, I can schedule it, and I can be out playing in the middle of nowhere with no service and not have to worry about it. So. Anyways, long story short, the video I edited right now was Big Bend, um, and I was very, very excited uh, for that day. That was one of the funnest days so far of the bus, so you'll be, you will have seen it a week ago if you guys are watching. Also, um, I have more giveaways, little things like that, um, and I think that's a, a thing that I'll continue to do. Uh, it's pretty cost effective for me, and I feel like it's a pretty unique uh, little freebie, you know, bonus for you guys. So make sure you are subscribed, and if you do want one of these little giveaways, make sure you hit that little bell icon. It's a little gray bell icon. After you are subscribed, you can hit it. That way, once I have another giveaway, you can be on it and uh, get uh, get a chance to win. Oh, also, we're going to hatch. Uh, if I didn't already mention that. Claire's a big fan of Hatch Chilies, and uh, we'll be there shortly. We're in Hatch. And Claire Bear is hatching with excitement because she loves hatch chilies, like I said. Uh, we have just stumbled upon a giant antique sale over here, yeah. kind of across the street from the world famous Sparky's, which we were told to go to next to the dude right there. Um, so I was told it's uh, the same owner of that place. Uh, there's a lot of things I just noticed that were on Roadside America. The giant pig right there. That dude right there, he's got a chili sticking out. I bet if you took a picture from that side, we'll do that in a little bit. There was I have one a... back there of a guy holding a school bus. Did you see it? What? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Why didn't Claire mention, <laughs> yeah, mention this to me? <laughs> Who do you, do you I'm not sorry. realize what you're driving around in, Claire? My goodness. 
Oh, and it was on American Pickers. Okay, they buy RVs, travel, trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes, and it, apparently it's closed. Or am I just not strong? Is there another door? We don't know. It is the day after Christmas, so we might just have a peek here. Mary had a little lamb. Well, shoot. Unfortunately, I think it's closed. So right across the street from Sparky's, we have a couple things over here. Giant Piggy. Robin Hood. Yogi the Bear. A, I don't know, robot? A Clerodactyl. And uh, two chilies on top of a KFC bucket. Um, well, let's go inside Sparky's and see what's uh, the rave. All right, no dice. The close for the holidays, which is totally okay. You guys make great burgers, great food. You guys deserve a few days off. Oh, also, here is the uh, the chili man from the other side. Looks like he's a little bit happy to be in uh, Hatch, New Mexico. So, we found ourselves in a little dilemma. Hatch is not ready to hatch today. <laughs> <That's so sad. laughs> Um, all the good spots are closed, um, as well as uh, a lot of them close at 3 p.m. And it's a little bit after 3 p.m. 18, 3.22. 3, 3.22 on December 26th. Um, so anyways, there is a little town here, so we're just going to drive through, and if something looks cool, we'll pull over. So we've been trying to figure out what to do. Today's a sad day. We just booked a, uh, a return one-way bus pass for Claire. She's gonna take the Greyhound bus back to Texas where her car has been in the Walmart parking lot for how long? A week and hopefully it'll still be there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's there, but it's like a whole little center and I don't know, we call the Greyhound people and we're like where should we park and they were like mm, Walmart but I'm not really sure that was the best idea no he didn't really seem very sure about it. he's like Walmart <laughs> <laughs> question mark so yeah so we um have 24 hours left ish so we figured we go, go down towards uh, uh White Sands and along the way maybe stop by a rest area for the night we'll see uh we do have some food in here and stuff we're kind of like 0 for 2 today. But that's just kind of what happens on the bus. The best thing is just to appreciate what you already have, like great company. And uh, yeah, just not every day is like full on, non-stop excitement and, and all that stuff. But um, yeah, every day has its own, you know, blessings and experiences. And it's also helpful to have someone who is so pleasant to be around, like Clarodactyl. Because that way, you don't really have somebody who's like a monkey on your back. You have a well, Claire Bear on your back. <laughs> <laughs> also, you ever had these mini bananas before? Well, I think they're the original banana. Just like the original tomatoes don't look like what they sell in the store today. These little suckers. If you took all the banana flavor from like a big banana and then concentrated it, this is what they taste like. They're fantastic. Highly recommend it. You want a little banana? <laughs> well, I cut them so that they're, you can open them easier. Here, you know, let me help. Here, let, let me help. Ah! Darn, I was gonna stick it all in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not me! <laughs> monumental night. <laughs> Claire, do you want to share why it is such a monumental night? 
Besides the fact that it is our last night together. He ran out of lentils. <laughs> I didn't realize it, but I'm all on lentils. Those 96 cans are, are gone. I was pl promising Claire the best meal she's ever had. And here I am, a man with no lentils. Who am I? So, a liar? <laughs> man, I'm a heartbreaker. Well, maybe stomach breaker. Um, so, looks like, oh, anyways, this is what uh, tonight's uh, dinner is. Just some frozen vegetables. Uh, I do have some uh, rice in here. Let me see where it, there we go. Tucked away in this little protein powder container. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, oh, by the way, we're in a place called Alamogordo, Alamogordo, New Mexico. We're over by White Sands. We're going to hit that tomorrow, uh, possibly somewhere else. And, uh, shoot, we're parked at this really nice truck stop. And when I say really nice, I just mean, like, available parking. There's also another school bus on the other side of this truck, but um, didn't really want to disturb them. And, uh, yeah, so maybe we'll meet them tomorrow, who knows? Maybe they're going to the school bus roundup that I'm going to. I really don't know. But, um, wow, what a shocker. What a twist to today's adventure. I'm out of lentils. The face says it all. Pure disappointment. You liked them, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's a yeah.